Alrighty, so what we've done here is we're trying to balance the uh, setis sieve um, tolerance on the height of the floating weir. And I have lowered it down now about an uh, inch and a half here. It used to sit, uh, it used to sit somewhere about right there, which I was told was too high, so we're going to get it down here. Uh, I was told that this right here is too low, so we're going to see if this right here might be the magic spot right here. And we will uh, see what we can, can come up with here. I'll just shut the power off. Not quite sure if that did anything. In fact, I don't think it did anything at all. So, we got the old tape measure out here. When the water is shut off, the pond is shut off, pumps are not running, it sits about two and a half inches above the top of the unit. So the top of the weir sits two and a half inches above the top of the unit when the power is off. Full of water. So, we're going to even take even more out. I'll even take two more inches out of the pond see what we come up with. Alright, so now our weir is four inches below the, the top of the unit. Which actually now only gives us this much clay before it bottoms out, which is not very much clay. And we'll turn off the pump to see what it does this time. Still full of water. Still full of water. So, we're going to take another inch out, see what that does. Alright. So, here's what we got. This is our room to work with. We are now bottomed out right here on the rear. That's as far low as it can go. You can pull it up as much as you want. It's going to fall back down here. As far as for being unlevel, 
there is no way this thing right here is gonna is being restricted to where it's it's not you know it's not being restricted and uh, and being stuck up against the wall. Uh, so we can eliminate that. So that's how far we got to bottom out, which leaves me really about an inch and a half. So I just I can't see it being this low. Even if the sieve is this low, the weir is this low, we'll shut the power off. What's up, man? How you doing, Mr. Sam? Doing good. Yeah, I'm making a video here. So, here you are again, and the uh, the water's still filling up inside here. So I just I can't for the life of me figure out how raising this we this uh, unit would ever possibly get rid of all that water right there. I just, I don't see how it'll do it. In fact, we're, just as a test, we're gonna bottom out the weir, and then we'll do another test. Alrighty, so now I've got the, uh, the weir to where it's bottomed out. Well, I'm gonna bottom out as far as you go right there, which is a lot lower than it was. Got a little measurement on it here. So we are a full five inches below the weir now. Excuse me, below the unit. Top of the weir is five inches below the top of the unit. I'm going to shut power off again. Huh. What do you know? Still water in there. There shouldn't be? Uh, no, I don't see how there can not be, but I guess there shouldn't be. There's a little bit of debate on that. But, uh, if I put it any lower, then I'm sucking air. So, I, I don't see how I can, I don't see how I can get it any lower. 